Dr. Katz wanted to see me. Is he in his office? Uh, no, actually, he told me to tell you to wait for him here. He went to talk to Steve Hardy first. What's this all about? As if you didn't know, I'm getting a job at the hospital. Providing Dr. Weber agrees. It's Dr. Katz right now. Why don't you all wait in the lounge for me, and I'll see you in a few minutes, all right? Okay. I want to I want to thank you for coming to see me. I look I know you're probably swamped down at the clinic, but I really think this is important. Heather seems to think she already has a job here. Oh, yeah, well that is jumping the gun a little. I mean Steve Hardy said he was willing to give her a chance, but provided of course that you approve. I don't think it's so much a matter of my approval. It's a matter of do you think she is qualified to handle a job responsibly here at the hospital? No, no, that would depend on just how much responsibility the job entails. I can tell you this, Heather is making a lot of progress. In what areas? Well, she's opening up. She's beginning to be more honest with herself, and believe you me, that is a big step in the right direction. That's fine. However, you still sound a little hesitant as to the amount of responsibility she's taking. Yeah, well, too much responsibility, yes. I mean, it could easily overwhelm her. But if there was a way for her to get some kind of a job here, here in the hospital where she really wants to work, well, I think she would view that as a reward for her honesty, and. Well, it would be immensely helpful to me in my treatment. Well, there are a few uh, minor jobs here at the hospital. There's some openings and admissions. She wouldn't have to see any patients. All she'd have to do is fill out forms, and she would be under strict supervision. Oh, well, that sounds ideal. Sure, it rewards Heather for her success, and it doesn't endanger anyone at the hospital. Well, so I take it you approve? Well, within the framework of what we've just discussed, yes. Good. It just might be exactly what Heather needs. <laughs> I have a yeah. few reservations. Heather, Dr. Katz and I just had a, had a nice long talk, and we do agree there is a job here at the hospital which we feel you can handle. Oh, Rick, thank you. Thank you so much. Did you hear that, Joe? Isn't that neat? It's great. There are a few formalities that still have to be figured out, but you'll probably be in the admissions office. Well, I'd love that. Mrs. Lincoln is in charge of admissions. We've set up an appointment for you to see her tomorrow. Is that all right? Yes, that sounds fine. Good. I want you to know how much I appreciate this. You won't regret it. Well, we just don't want you to let us down, you know. I won't. I promise. Good. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. She won't let you down, believe me. And I want to tell you, I appreciate this. And someday, if I can, I'll pay you back. In the meantime, don't worry about Mike. I'll do all I can. I'll just keep trying until I get in touch with this lawyer, and then we'll just see where we go from there. If we ever lost Mike... You won't lose him, Joe. believe me. You're not gonna lose him, all right? Now, when yes. you get a chance, would you take a look at that uh, lease and purchase option that I took so much time to draw up for you? I have slipped my mind. I'm on my way back to the clinic. I'll look at it just as soon as I walk Thanks, in, all right? I tried to show up all the loopholes I could, but when you're working with somebody like this Dernley character, well, he can... Be a bit slippery. I think I'm ready for him, but what really concerns me right now is Mike and nothing else. But... I understand it. Don't worry about it, because I'm going to do all I can. I promise. Joe, we have so much love for them. There you go. Oh, OK. Cool. What is it? Did you have a bad morning at the clinic? No, it was actually not what? bad. It was all right. So what is it? Never mind. I don't care. Now, don't you never mind me. I know you, Rick Weber. And for a man who's getting married in a couple of days, you look pretty plum. Look, I'm not having any second thoughts about getting married. You know, the jitters. Uh, that's not it. Not well, problem. that's not all what I was suggesting. I just want to know what's bugging you. Rose, you might think it was, um, funny. I promise not to laugh. Promise? And it just suddenly hit me not very long ago that my life will be totally different once I leave from here. It just won't be the same. You promise not no, to laugh. No, 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 I'm just smiling because your life is going to be even more wonderful than it already is. Well, I hope so, but it's not going to be the same without you. It won't be the same. It won't be the same thing. I'm going to be here anytime you need me. I'll always miss you. Well, look, the clinic is just down the street, and with any luck at all, we'll get that sports center next door. And with Luke and Laura living down on the pier, we'll probably see each other more than we do now. Up and down the bus. Luke? 
holy hop is Easter on its way. All right, maybe... Maybe you are right. Maybe I am having some um, pre-wedding jitters. No, that's nothing to worry about. In fact, it's probably very healthy. Just take some time out and reflect on the part of your life you're leaving behind. I've done a lot of that lately, reflecting. Great deal. You know, you have come a long way since the day you moved in here. A long way, Rose. It's been light years. When I moved in here, there was nothing that was really in order in my life. I mean, my past and my future seemed to be um, a nightmare. The only thing I could really handle was the present. I mean, one step at a time. But there was one thing that was constant. There was one thing that I could always count on. I'm wondering what it was. It was your friendship. It really was. Well, I did what I could. Rose, I will never forget that. Thank you. Anyway. Thank you, Ed. That means a lot to me. But you know what? What? To be perfectly honest with you, I knew all along that your heart was at your home with Leslie. Sure took me a long time to figure that out, didn't it? What? So the future isn't so scary anymore, huh? No, not at all, because I'm ready to face it. I'm not the same guy. Not that I'm so different, it's just that I'm hopefully a lot wiser. And I'm ready to move back in with Leslie. In fact, I'm anticipating it with great relish. And I'm ready this time. And it's gonna work this time. Guarantee I believe it will. Hi! How's Hi, you ready? Oh, I'm ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Listen, don't you forget the Christmas party at the clinic. We're expecting you and Joe and Heather and Martha. Would not miss it for the world, and I'll pass word on to the others. Okay. We better go. Presents in the car, and Laura's expecting okay, us. Okay, 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 Rose. Thank you again. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. For everything. Hey, tell the birthday girl happy birthday from me, would you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, okay madam. Let's, let's shove off. Have a good time. Bye. Okay. How's that? Birthday. Happy something or other. Come on here. Hi. 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 Welcome. Happy. Welcome to the haunted ship. Christmas. What is it? Honey. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Sure. That's why we're here. We want to see your face. Okay. It's very fragile. No, it's not. It is yes, fragile. It is. Would you open <laughs> the box, please? What is this? No spider web? Oh, you look. Oh, China. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this pattern. I thought you liked that one. And I didn't... I just couldn't figure out how you could be happy eating on China that had the cassidine crest on it. Oh, it was difficult. Believe me. Well, maybe now we'll just, uh... Give the Cassidines one final toast and toss all that stuff in the harbor. Okay, goody. But before we get to the fun stuff, let's sit down and listen to Laura tell us all about her trip to New York. Would anyone like a glass of wine? No, thanks. Uh, not for me either. Uh, no, no, nothing for no? me. Thank you. I gotta go back to work. I think I will. Anyway, it was just incredible. It was such an incredible trip because you wouldn't believe how the people treated me. I mean, it was like I was some top-notch fashion model. She is already a star, you know? <laughs> Did they take lots of pictures? Uh-huh. We're planning to, uh, name the boat the Haunted Star. <laughs> well, other than just a few ghosts around here, how's the remodeling coming? <laughs> <laughs> not real good, you can yeah, see. Yeah, I can see. Mm -hmm. It's a little slow. It's a long, hard process. It's definitely not as glamorous as the Miss Star Eyes competition. If only there were a Mr. Star-Eyes. Hey, cut it out. We will have none of this stuff left for the tree. Yes, well, I think it's a little late for that already. Did you have anything else in mind for decorating the tree? Well, actually, yes. We were going to do uh, popcorn and cranberries, you know, anything old-fashioned, yeah. you know, sort of go with these uh, old-fashioned... Maybe some jam. <laughs> jam on the tree, that'd be very interesting. You know, we uh, don't have a tree yet because we are supposed to be helping decorate a tree over at a certain hospital in the lobby. Oh, right, Remember? yeah. Um, yes. Ten minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. <laughs> oh, look, do you mind if I hit you right over there? I was going to meet Bobby at the sure. cafeteria. For no, the no, no, not at all. Wait a second, you guys. What's wrong? Well, you're not going to leave me all alone on this haunted rat trap, are you? No, of course uh -uh, not. I'm going with you. <laughs> Why don't you get your coat? Come on. Okay. Rat trap, she called it. Hey. So, as you can see...